Hi there, Corey here for another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. We were going to have Mark Rosinovich on the show today. He has decided that he's too good for our show. No, we will have him on later. He had to uh, actually could not do it at the very last minute, but we will make him feel very bad for this. Very, very bad for this. So now on to the second raid show, which does not have Mark Rosinovich in it. What I wanted to do is, over the last couple of weeks, we've had a bunch of announcements, uh, a bunch of crazy things have actually happened in the market, and I thought I'd, uh, uh, that we've released, and I thought I'd sort of talk a little bit about each one of those and put some links down. You could check it out just in case you missed it. Uh, and then we will, uh, and actually we have some announcements tomorrow, so, uh, but not telling you what. Mm-hmm. Am I allowed to say that we have announcements even? I don't know. We may have to edit that. Um, okay. <laughs> so, the things that we've announced in the last couple weeks, well, first of all, very, very cool. We actually shipped Windows Server containers. And so what these are, and we've talked about them a few times, uh, and in fact, we'll talk about them more with Mark, um, is uh, uh, basically a Windows Server, uh, it's on top of Windows Server, the container technology um, that's integrated with Docker. And so now with Docker, you can actually go and deploy onto Windows Server, the Windows Server containers. Now, the key thing that I continually get asked about that I will make sure that I clarify here, um, and we'll spend again more time with Mark, you cannot run Linux containers on Windows Server, and you cannot run Windows Server containers on top of Linux. They do pull from the underlying host OS, and so you do actually need it to be the same, uh, the same sort of version of the operating system, and so that's an important point. So that's very exciting, very exciting stuff. Um, other things that we announced, actually, um, at, uh, at MesosCon, uh, we actually announced uh, support for Mesos, Apache Mesos, Mesos, excuse me, on top of Windows, on top of Windows Server, which is super cool, right? So now you can actually run a, an Apache Mesos solution, um, uh, you know, which is sort of a scale-out orchestration-based solution um, that now can sit on top of both Linux and Windows hosts underneath, um, which is very cool. Of course, integration with, uh, with uh, Docker on top of uh, sort of Windows containers, Windows Server containers running, and you've kind of got a pretty cool solution there to be able to sort of scale, use all the all the hardware to its optimi uh, optimizational, uh, most optimized usage, Rick. <laughs> and then the very, the, the last announcement that's worth, you know, I'm all flustered because Mark isn't in it. I mean, it's just like I'm not, this is, I'm not myself today. Uh, and it just, it, it saddens me. Anyway, um, the last announcement that's worth calling out is um, uh, we actually uh, released an updated version of Cloud Foundry support on top of Azure, which is also really, really cool. Um, uh, it's built on top of Bosch init, uh, and so you can, um, you know, if you weren't aware, we actually have sort of integrated support to, to launch uh, Cloud Foundry on top of Azure. Um, it is a preview, uh, but this is sort of the update to that preview, and uh, it should be pretty exciting. Uh, so, you know, I'd go say if you want to go uh, build an app, try it out, uh, uh, definitely g give that a whirl uh, and, and play, play with that on Azure. So, great stuff, um, you know, really exciting things to, to be talking about. Um, like I said, we will almost definitely have Mark Rosinovich in uh, the next show. We're also going to be going out there and actually talking with some partners out there and seeing sort of what they think of the platform and, um, you know, uncut uncut and raw. We're going to have them give me feedback about the platform, uh, and then we'll go and edit it and make sure I look good. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for your time. I hope that this second-rate show was uh, reasonably good for you, um, and uh, we'll definitely make sure that, uh, that we actually go uh, get Mark on the show the next time. So thanks for your time. Uh, make sure that if you do have questions, if you do have things you want to ask, either me or Mark, actually, for that, for that, for that matter. Uh, you can go ahead and hit us up on Twitter um, at uh, hashtag AzureTWC, which stands for Tuesdays with Corey. And so thank you so much. Mark's Whoa. Twitter account, they can give him feedback directly. Oh, well, we'll include him on the, on the reply. So at sign it Mark at Rusinovich. Mark Rusinovich, right? So it's, uh, yeah, we'll put it, can we put it on here? Yeah, we can do that. So please send Mark a question or two, um, or make sure you give him a comment about the fact that he effectively left us high and dry. Uh, and uh, and uh, really, you know, ruined pretty much my whole week. So that's I guess that's I guess where we are. So yeah, cool. Azure, great. Thank you. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Thanks so much for your time, and uh, and we'll definitely be talking more about containers. We're going to talk about the architecture uh, uh, with Mark, um, and then we're going to actually talk about some of the new announcements as well. So I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil that one, uh, but we will be we'll be enjoying some some conversations there. So thanks again, and see you next time. Bye bye.
<laughs> you're running, eh? <laughs> oh, you're recording. <clears throat> I didn't clap though, so you can't know I, I how can to still look do it up. It. I can still. I don't think it. so. I don't think so. Wait. So what am I talking about? <laughs> Mesosphere. Uh, oh yeah. Cloud Foundry. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloud Foundry answers. new release. Uh, what did this new release have again? Mm-hmm.